That huge earthquake in Japan is once again a reminder that California also has a history of powerful and damaging quakes. One specific area of concern, the San Joaquin Delta, which supplies water to millions of Californians to the south. Tim Daly reports on how that system of pipes and levees might respond when the next big one hits. Koalinga, 1983. Ooh, we're having an earthquake. Yeah. Did you guys feel that? Yeah. Modesto, 1995. <laughs> California's Central Valley has moved a bit through the years, but earthquakes just aren't as common in this part of the state as they are in the Bay Area. But this part of the state is where much of California gets its water, starting with the pumps near Tracy. And the Department of Water Resources says in any given year, there's a half of a percent chance that a Bay Area quake will cause significant levee damage in the Delta. In terms of plate tectonics, Dr. Kurt Burmeister teaches geology at UOP. He says though California doesn't have the same earthquakes as Japan, and though the Central Valley doesn't have the same quakes as the Bay Area, this levee system is vulnerable. A large portion of the levee system in the Central Valley, in the Delta region, was built in the 1800s without the aid of civil engineers. So the potential for failures just from age alone is high. He points out levee improvements that happened recently near Sacramento didn't happen to the south. The rest of the levees in the Central Valley have yet to receive that attention. Though this water system has never been shut down by an earthquake, it has been shut down by the Delta smelt that tiny fish that gets sucked into the pumps. Pumping stops for a couple of days nearly every year so the smelt population isn't ruined. If there were a huge failure of this water system and it was shut down, the state says other supplies of water could be increased to Southern California, the interruption wouldn't be significant. Near Tracy, Tim Daly, News 10. Here's why California quakes aren't as serious as Japan's quake. The tectonic plates under California move side by side, while the plates under Japan move on top of one another, causing greater friction and more damage.